This little beauty you see right here is a Yamaha EAD10 or electronic acoustic drum module. And to describe what it does as simply as possible, it turns your acoustic drum set into an electronic drum set. The way this works is there is a bass drum trigger slash stereo pair of mics that mounts onto the bass drum hoop that runs into the brain, much like you would find on an electronic drum set. These two units, along with all of the necessary cables to hook it up, is what you receive when you purchase an EAD, but also I have a Yamaha DT50S, which is a trigger which is connected to my snare and again runs into the brain, but that is sold separately. And going back to the brain, it's very similar to what you'd find on an electronic drum set, so you can scroll through and change the scenes and go through the different presets. And of course, you can create your own scenes, so these are a few that I've made. Also with each scene, whether it's a preset or one that you've made, you can go in and change the type of reverb as well as the amount. The effect you want. as well as the kick drum and snare drum trigger. So as you can tell, this is a very unique and interesting and just all around cool product to have on your drum set. And there are so many uses for this and honestly, I've only really scratched the surface with it. Every time I sit down and use it, I learn something new. But what I'm most curious about is if this is a viable solution to recording drums on a budget. And to test that, I have two different tracks I'll be playing along to and I'll switch between the EAD audio and my regular mic setup. The first one is a synthy kind of track and then the second one is a song I recorded with one of my bands from a couple years ago and it was tracked live, but I'm going to re-record the drums. So hopefully these two tracks will give you an idea of what the EAD is capable of in a recording environment.
For that track, I actually started with the speed metal scene, which is a preset scene on the EAD. I kept the reverb the same as small stage. I kept the effect as a compressor. The only thing I changed was the trigger. The original snare trigger is metal. And I changed that to T9-5. And I changed the kick drum trigger from MG Snare 2 to Oak C22-2. And the dash 2 is because there's two different ones. And the next track I'm about to play to, I started with the heavy rock scene, which again is a preset scene on the EAD. I changed the reverb to studio. I kept the effect as compressor. And again, I changed the triggers. The original kick drum is hard rock. And I changed that to Maple C22. And the original snare trigger is hard rock. And I changed that to rock. So I would totally say that you can use just the EAD for recording drums and end up with a usable result. If anything, you could add a few tom mics because my toms sound a little bit papery, but then again, it's probably just the tuning. But just like anything else, the more you use it, the more you record with it, the more you learn about it, which will lead to better recordings. But also, this is simple and easy. Everything is right here. You have like four or five chords to plug in. You don't have to deal with, you know, setting up mic stands and mic placement and then routing cables and all that. All you do is put the trigger on your bass drum and plug it in and you're good to go. And again, everything is right here so you mess with your reverb, your effects, and your triggers and you're ready to record. But probably the coolest thing about the EAD is being able to record straight to your phone with the Yamaha Record and Share app. And I'm seriously thinking about doing a separate video on that because it's so cool. So with this app you can record two tracks of audio, so say like a play long track and then your drums but also you can record video at the same time and have it all synced up. So for example, say you want to record a drum cover or just post a short clip of you playing drums to Instagram for example, then the EAD and the Record and Share app are the tools for you. I really don't know a cheaper and easier way to record high quality drum audio into your phone than with the EAD. So honestly, I give Yamaha an A plus for the EAD and I'm really excited to see where they take it from here and what they do with it or if they decide to expand on it or whatever the case may be because right now it's totally awesome and I love it, but I definitely see the potential it has. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll also leave a link to Yamaha's site where you can learn more about the EAD and uh, yeah, hopefully you learned something and thanks for watching.